Welcome back to part three of this tutorial um, showing you how to create a piece of artwork in the style of Louis Jove. You should have divided your photo up and learnt how to create some solid shapes and this time we're going to be looking at how to put lines into your work, both straight and curved lines. Okay, um, firstly we make a new layer, okay, and make sure that stays at the top. And we're going to do straight lines first, and you should be used to using the pen tool by now. But I would uh, go with something like that, okay, and make sure that your line is the colour you want it. In this instance, I'm going with black, okay, and you just get your pen tool. And I'm sure you remember from the last time, um, you click and then press shift and click shift and click, shift and click to get straight lines, okay? Um, if you go off the edge and you make sure you join your lines together, um, you create areas that you can fill. So I've grabbed an orange here and I can use the paint bucket and fill in a particular area, okay? Um, if I don't want those lines to be on top, I can drag my layer underneath my photograph so that they're under my photograph, okay? Next, we're going to work on how to make curved lines. So you go to the pen tool down here, and this is slightly more difficult. You have to make sure that that is crossed off and that that is the colour you want it, in this instance, black. Okay? And you use the pen tool and you click on one side and then you click the other and then you drag and it creates this curve. Okay? Now what you need to do then is right click on the on the layer, okay, just waiting for me to do it on the video, okay, because at the moment it's got this weird blue highlight over it. Right click on the layer and click rasterize and that turns it into a shape, okay, so something that you're more used to seeing, okay, and if I do the same again, the unique feature of this one is you can turn your line into either a dotted line or a dashed line, okay, and do the same again. So go to the pen tool, where is it? There it is. Click on one side, click on the other, and hold it and drag it to the curve you want. And then you've got exactly the same thing, or it looks the same at the moment. I tend to take the mask off like that so you can see it. But remember to right click on that layer and click rasterize and that turns it into a shape and these layers are the same as any other you can put them above or below your photograph so your lines go on top of you or below you the choice is yours okay right that ends this particular section of the tutorial enjoy have fun i look forward to seeing what you create